Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay. Hope everybody's okay. Um, <clears throat> I just want to explain something to you. Um, <clears throat> let me just explain a context. I've been researching a book on Sam Harris. And I've just got to speak because it's burning in me. The the, the anger at hypocrisy is just burning so much within me. I can't keep quiet. I just can't keep quiet. I just can't. It just burns within me, the, the anger at the hypocrisy of the modern atheist. And also the great danger that we are all in because of these modern atheists. So let me just explain the context to you. In 9-11, Sam Harris was at university uh, working, I think it was on his PhD in neuroscience. He travelled around uh, various uh, eastern countries learning about Buddhist meditation and he'd come back and he was doing his PhD. He'd been doing that for 11 years, travelling around. And 9-11 uh, happened and he began to write a book the day after called The End of Faith which sparked off a, a big debate and conversation. In this book, The End of Faith, he's advocating preemptive strikes against Muslim countries before they get the nuclear bomb basically we have to wipe the Muslims out before they wipe us out is what he was is some of what he was saying in his book he brands Christians and Muslims and Jews all in the same bag as Islamic fundamentalist fanatics who did the bombing who did the attack on the two towers in New York so ordinary law-abiding Christians ordinary law-abiding Muslims and Jews are branded in the same bracket as Muslim fanatics and not only that even moderate Muslims extreme moderate moderate Muslims extreme mod moderate Christians also branded in the realm of Muslim fanatics who blow people up so anybody who, but especially those who are Christian fundamentalist, evangelicals, they too are on the higher echelons of this scale of fanaticism of Sam Harris. Sam Harris's uh, proposition. And they, they are the evil of the evil, and they are on the same par as these Muslim extremists who go and blow up the two towers. So basically, Sam Harris has played on uh, the fears of, re of religion that we got to fear religion it's a scourge on humanity and we got to suppress these Christians we got to suppress these Muslims we got to suppress these Jews anybody with any fundamentalist beliefs now the word fundamental fundamentalism was different in the 1920s to is now in the 1920s uh, fundamentalism meant Christian fundamentalism was about uh, believing the fundamentals of the Bible, being anti-evolutionary, anti-biblical criticism, and more e uh, being evangelical. Christian fundamentalism is the same today, but the word fundamentalism has changed in modern times, which is used for Islamic fundamentalism, which is all about generally, uh, uh, specifically, in the context of um, suicide bombings. Um, and just to give you an idea of the scaremongering of Sam Harris, suicide bombings has come from religion. Well, it didn't. It actually came from communist. But anyhow, that's another point. But the point is the historical context I'm just painting of the word fundamentalist. So Sam Harris has used the word fundamentalist for Islam with the extreme kind of idea of fundamentalism, not the 1920s fun idea of fundamentalism. And is used that and bracketed that Islamic 
extremist fundamentalism that blows people up and he's used that definition to bring everybody else who's religious holding Christian uh, doctrine or Islamic doctrine uh, fundamental beliefs and Jewish fundamental beliefs like the belief that the scriptures are inspired is bracketed all them in that extreme fundamentalism of Islam so basically this guy has been allowed by Western media Western democracies to pro to promote hate crimes against Christianity Judaism and Islam and the guy has got away with it the guy has got away with it and the Western media and the Western political leaders should be totally disgraced and ashamed of themselves that they have allowed this man to do that it's a total now it basically Sam Harris's argument goes something like this uh, we can't allow these people to it's what, what what people do is from what they believe religious beliefs make people do certain things it's basically it's those it's the religious people that are ones that are causing the violence this is just completely ridiculous violence has been spread through politics through economics uh, through atheism as well as from religion so it's just completely irrational what he's saying but he's been allowed to say this that it's religion that has caused the problem it's religion that brings the violence so therefore we've got to mute any form of religious fundamentalism and even moderatism because the moderates have still got the seeds of the danger of fundamentalism even within their own position they're just not being consistent like the fundamentalists are so that means tens of millions of Christians who believe the Bible is the word of God are automatically in the bracket of some kind of weird Islamic fundamentalist who go blowing people up or any decent law abiding Muslims tens of millions decent law abiding Muslims are also bracketed in this evil vile Islamic fundamentalism that goes blowing each other, blowing people up and Sam Harris for a number of years now and the atheist community have been allowed to get away with this and I, I think that I really do think that Sam Harris should be arrested I think Sam Harris should be arrested and he should be put on trial for hate crimes against humanity uh, and it's not about freedom of speech it's not about you know this is beyond freedom he's demonized a whole group of faith based people demonize them as Islamic fundamentalists do blow people up and he's got away with it and it's a disgrace <coughs> it's a to the, the guy has been allowed to sow a seed in our Western democracies that will bear fruit in generations to come there will be people who will it will take this hate that Sam Harris has sown the seed for and it will come out it will spring out in political persecution against Christians and Muslims and even probably physical violence in fact he even advocates violence against Islam he, he's, he's, he's been he called for preemptive strikes against Islam so I mean it's not I'm not being unreasonable here and I think it's a total disgrace that the Western democracies and Western society have allowed this to happen. There should be a much more uh, enlightenment position, the old enlightenment position of Kant and, and Hume and um, the great enlightenment thinkers. The, the, there needs to be more of a, a move back to proper real enlightenment thinking on how we deal with extreme religious fanaticism like this Muslim extremism and we need to get back to more of a real rational discussion about religion in our democracies and we need to reass reassess what we mean by democracy and how does religion play a role within democracy and how how do we deal with Islam in a rational 
reasonable way and tolerant way and not not in this scaremongering way that Harris produced in his book and I do think he should be arrested and I think he should be tried for hate crimes and I think he should do a couple of years in, in prison uh, for what he said as and, and that he should be t the atheist the hardcore atheist community should be taught a lesson for the vitriolical hatred towards religion that they've been allowed to get away with that's what I think until they until these hardcore atheists and Sam Harris say unequivocally that Christian fundamentalists Jewish fundamentalists and Islamic fundamentalists in in the old 1920s definition those who believe fundamental beliefs in the text scriptures that that definition until he says the 1920s definition of fundamentalism those people are welcome in our democracies and have a more important contribution to make to our society until he says that you shouldn't he should not have a hearing in Western democracies because he's not I've got no problem with atheists atheists are equal in our democracies they are completely equal they are completely equal totally equal but I've got a massive problem with hardcore atheism that Sam Harris espoused and Richard Dawkins and I think it's a total utter disgrace that the Prime Minister of England and um, Obama and uh, Washington um, the leadership at Congress I think it's a disgrace that you've allowed this to go on without without it being challenged you should have challenged Sam Harris in a, a much more extreme uh, uh, vigorous intellectual way than people did you've allowed him and Hitchens and Dawkins to see to sow seeds of hate in our Western democracies and it's a total disgrace and I, and I think that there should be calls at Congress uh, and in the House of Parliament um, for Sam Harris to be brought to trial for hate crimes his book should be taken to court and he should be prosecuted for hate crimes and it's as simple as that and he should be arrested and he should do at least a couple of years in prison uh, I really believe it for what he said the guy has sown the seeds of our destruction in our western democracies he's been allowed to sow hatred and brand ordinary law abiding people as if they are fanatics who want to blow people up he's been allowed to get away with that and that is surely not rational and reasonable the fact that the media has failed to pick up on this and the political leaders have failed to pick up on this and the church has not been willing to challenge it shows you that we're in weird strange times we're just in weird strange times and we will as churches in the west will go underground we will be meeting in, ch in homes because of this doctrine that's been sown in society by Sam Harris it will flourish and it will end up making us have to go underground we have no rights with this kind of rhetoric that he has produced thank you for listening, God bless